In three years, this AI voice will replace close to 10 million jobs. Now, I'm saying this because what you're about to hear isn't a human. Did you have something else you wanted to get off your chest? I was vaguely remembering something about, well, never mind. It'll probably come back to me. Now compare what you just heard to something like this. Press one for pushy sales. Press two for bad service. Press three for disappointment. The gap, well, that's what most people don't realize because voice AI has gone through three massive transitions in the last few years, from robotic to cloned, and now lately with a new AI tool to emotionally intelligent and real. Now, I'm not just here to show you how cool these voices sound, right? You can do that yourself. I'm here to show you where the technology is going and show you how to stay ahead because those who fall behind, it's not like they're just gonna get replaced. They're gonna get outright erased by competition who uses this technology effectively. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, welcome, my name's Liam. I how businesses use these AI voice technologies to scale their human operations without humans. So if this is something you want to explore for your business, you can use the first link in the description to book a free AI strategy session with myself. I look forward to hearing from you and now let's get into the video. So this is the first revolution, right? This is an IVR phone system. Basically, this is what everybody knows already, right? You call some, you call a business, it plays a greeting message telling you uh, what business you called and then asks you to select either one, two, three or four to then be routed to uh, billing, technical support, account information, or to uh, sales or something else. And I mean, this is, I get why people use this, right? It's better than routing it to one person. But the problem is that first of all, they all sound the same, right? If you call one business and it has the same background music and the same voice and it's the same, it just gets very monotonous after a while. And the other thing is that it actually increases the wait times dramatically because you are stuck selecting between all these options and sometimes you don't know what option you should choose, right? Maybe that's not always the perfect fit and then you have to try multiple agents before you get the right, um, get to the right person. So I've never liked these. I don't think anyone loves being caught in one of those, but I get why businesses use them. The next revolution, this is what happened in the past year, I would say. This is an AI voice agent. Now I've put out a, quite a few videos on my channel already on how to build one of these. And basically what happens is you call a phone number and you have an AI embedded in that. And now the big difference to this system here is that this AI can listen and it can talk. So you don't actually need to route it to a human anymore. It can do things on the call. It can have access to your calendar and book meetings. It can update your CRM, for example. It could answer questions from a document. You can add as many of these as you like. And spe specifically what we're focusing on in this video is uh, the technology behind the speech and for those of you who don't know the way these work is basically you 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 talk once you stop talking it transcribes that audio into text sends that text to ChatGPT or uh, another llm and then that outputs a message so for example if you said something like um what's your uh, what are your opening times it would transcribe that to text send it to ChatGPT, which can then which can then check in the documents, for example, then it writes an answer and that answer is sent to another AI which transforms the text into speech. And this is fantastic already, don't get, don't get me wrong. But the problem is that basically as soon as you arrive at this AI that actually transforms the, the text into speech, uh, it's given a script and it's just told, read the script out. So it's, it's basically just, just reading a script. And the problem with this is, is it has no context. It doesn't know what's, what mood is the customer in, what was said before, what was said after, what should my tonality be like. Uh, it just reads it out. And it sounds realistic, that's fine, but what Sesame has done, this is a new uh, AI voice technology, uh, is really remarkable. Because you can build an agent like this, it's the exact same thing, all of this is the same, but they've added one important thing, which is context and emotion. Now, instead of just transcribing the text, they also send the audio to an AI, which means it also parallelly analyzes what the tonality is like, it knows the context, it has far more information to actually, when it's time to turn the text into speech, um, this AI is then told, don't just read this out, but maybe put a slight pause, or maybe you should sound a bit more excited and this information, based on the context of the conversation, um, it, it just produces a much more natural speech output. Now, to give you some examples of what these sound like, so you can hear the difference, let me actually pull up one agent that I built. 
under this um, this formula. I'll just give it a call once so you can hear what it sounds like. Hi there, this is Alex from Tech Solutions Customer Support. How can I help you today? Uh, hi Alex, um, my laptop's not working. The, the screen's just glitching around. I understand how frustrating that can be. Um, let's see if we can get this sorted out for you. Could you tell me a bit more about what's happening with the screen? For example, when did you first notice um, About problem? two weeks ago. Got it. And does this glitching happen every time you use your laptop or is it more intermittent? No, it's it's um, every single time. Yep. Okay, you get the idea, right? So that's basically an agent which um, works under this principle down here. Now, let me switch to Sesame's website and this has been released into voice AI providers like Vapi. I've given it a go, but it's just not there yet. Plus the cost per minute is a <laughs> quite outrageous compared to what's out there. So uh, it's not quite yet ready yet to be used in an agent like this, but you can test the voice on its own. And that's what I want to show you here. Now I'll leave the link to where you can try this out for yourself in the description. Definitely give this a go. It is a lot of fun to play around with. And I'm sure you will instantly hear a massive difference in the voice quality between what you just heard and what's now available. Fancy seeing you here again so soon. You must have some fascinating tales to tell. What's <laughs> on your mind? Um, Maya, can you tell me a joke and then laugh at your own joke? Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Because they make up um, everything. <sighs> I cock myself up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's funny. Uh, could you um, could you be really quiet once my baby's sleeping? Can we just talk and whisper? Of course. Whisper mode activated. Tell me, what secrets are we sharing? Don't worry, I'm all ears. Can or, you can uh, you can you go process. shh? Can you go shh? I once? can't actually. Um, I can only process text. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about in a hushed tone? Uh, no, could you please be really excited and uh, I'm going on a bungee jump in a moment and I need you to hype me up. Whoa, a bungee jump? <laughs> That's incredible. You're about to free fall through the air, feel the wind whipping through your hair and bounce back up. Uh, this is going to be epic. Do it for the adrenaline. Do it for the view. Do it for the, the sheer audacity of it all. You got this. Yeah, as you can see, um, this is freakishly realistic. Um, <laughs> there, there are a couple of things that you notice, of course. Uh, there are things uh, I have gotten it to sing once, but also I asked it to do shh, right? And sometimes it does it automatically, sometimes it doesn't. So it's not it's not quite there yet, but you can see that the um, emotion and the, the range, the vocal range of this thing is phenomenal. So uh, yeah, this is a, a fantastic technology. Now, I promised you not just to, to yabble on about how um, this thing works and why it's so cool, but also how do you prepare for this? How do you use this? Well, I'm going to give you a few resources. First of all, there's going to be two types of people watching this video. Either people like me who are building an AI voice agency. Now, for those who haven't got started yet, I'm going to share exactly where I learned all of this. It's a community from Henrik and Janis. I'm going to leave the, uh, the link in the description. It's a school community and it is fantastic. So I definitely recommend joining that. They have a bunch of resources on how to learn this, or you can actually just learn it from my videos as well. I have a, uh, a good variety of um, solutions and tutorials out there, but I nonetheless wanted to share the source of my information too. Now, the second type watching this will be business owners, right? And you're, you're thinking about how can I use this in my business? Well, first of all, think about when customers actually call, right? When do you guys use the phone? And there's really a couple of use cases for this. So either customer support, right? Or, or um, basically anything where you'd usually have a worker answer inbound phone calls. That can be customer support, it can be making appointments, it can be answering questions about your business, right? Whether you're a dentist or a restaurant or a hotel. I've done quite a few videos on hospitality as well. And because of the tools available to this thing, you can get this to plug right into your existing softwares and actually perform actions. So it's not just chatting away, it's actually doing the work for you, which is pretty, uh, pretty remarkable. Now, um, another use case for this would be outbound phone calls. 
And this is where it gets quite interesting because either you could use this to, for example, call Facebook leads when they come in. Say you're running a campaign and if you're doing this, you know that speed to lead is crucial. If you don't call someone within the first like 30 seconds, uh, the chance that they actually pick up drops exponentially. So what I do is have one of these AIs hooked up and listening and waiting for someone to submit a form and then call them instantly to answer the, to ask them a few qualifying questions and then book an appointment. Now, another really great use case for this is actually inside of a company. I'm actually just working with a waste management company in California and we're building AIs that basically call the managers and retrieve information because they're hosting events and um, instead of having one of their workers manually call and check in with the managers, you can have an AI retrieve information like, um, do you need any more staff? Is the venue, was it easily reachable? Um, can you tell me how much waste you removed? Because oftentimes these are things that you have to estimate in the moment and it's hard to remember. So having an AI that always calls and checks up with your workers and your team is actually hugely beneficial because just think about how much back and forth calling you do on a daily basis. And a lot of it can be outsourced to AI now. So here's the battle plan for you. If you're wanting to build one of these yourself, watch my videos and join the school community. I'm not affiliated with them, but I just wanted to give back and show you how I learned. And the next thing, if you're a business owner, your battle plan is this. Uh, you can book a free AI consultation call with myself. We'll actually make a tailored strategy for you completely for free to show you the best use cases and ways you can use AI to save your time. Now, once you've done that, you can either watch my videos or many of the other videos out there and try and build this yourself. Or if you need help with this, of course, my agency can help you set one of these up and uh, make it work in the way that you need it to. All right, so I hope you got some value from this video. I'll definitely leave the link to Sesame down below so you can try this out for yourself. It's a ton of fun, definitely mess around with it. And I can't wait to see where this technology takes us all. I hope you learned something new in this video and I'll see you in the next one.